Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgamerandguru.com. I'm working in Affinity Designer and would like to show you how to create vector text effects. In this tutorial I aim to create something like this, starting with a text, giving it a 3D effect, a background and then add layer effects on top of that. Let's start with the right font. If I take something like this all the grunge effect already in this font will make it really hard to work a smooth 3D effect. It'll look like a lot of artifacts are in there. So that's a no-go. If I take something like that, it is too thin. These 3D effects will just look like it's a piece of string and not really what we're after. So that's a no-go. If I take something like that, it has more volume. It's heading the right direction. It's a maybe but what we're really after is a nice bold font. So we go with something like this. Let's start by giving it some color. Take a gradient and we want the gradient to be vertical. And then we duplicate and use the contour tool on the lower of the two texts. So we create our background and we give that a slightly different gradient. Let's bake this appearance, which turns it into a group of vector shapes. And I can then ungroup those and combine them via the Boolean Ed. So now I have one shape and I can adjust the gradient for this one. We will need a duplicate of this shape and we will move it down a bit and scale it a little bit on the width and with this one we give it a color overlay to black to darken it and we'll adjust the colors later just do a 60% multiply and for the text itself we need another copy and we move that up a little bit we want to make this lighter, so go in and brighten the colors a little bit. Let's add the effects now. We want a little bit of an inner glow. Make that a little stronger and might want to go more into the yellows to be nice and soft and we want to add a bevel we want a really nice strong bevel so we up the screen to 100% and take the multiply down a little bit and give it a reddish tone rather than work with the standard black we can close that and then we go into the shape below and give that a color overlay because we want that darker as well. And again, we go into a darkish red to match what we have. And with this one, we can do the bevel as well. We go to the inner one and we reverse the light and just give it a very soft light coming from below again i like warmer colors rather than the harsh white and black so we have this one and this one will also need an outer shadow we'll adjust that later because I probably need to set the colors a little lighter for my background shape. Let's set the intensity up. I can barely guess it. So basically this color is too dark. Let's go with the brighter gradient for this one and a brighter gradient for the shape below. We just copy the same one and we lost the overlay effect so we give that back an overlay and darken it with a multiply 
and to give it a little bit of saturation there we go and now we can go even darker and this shape will get the bevel inside and the reverse color and we make it very soft and in a yellowish tone okay and with this one we don't need the black so we set this to zero and give it an outer shadow quite a bit of an offset and 100% intensity and now we can go back to this shape and also give it a bit of an inner glow again go soft here and maybe add a bevel as well so it's mainly playing around with what shapes will look good when you add bevel inner glow shadows to them to make the elements below or above look more 3d so giving this a yellowish tone as well too much and we'll make it softer okay we can then go in and edit the parts that would look more 3d like we have an edge here and an edge there we go in with the note tool and we fix those so i'm just adding a note here and it would connect from up there and go straight down there and same on this side And we can now add additional shapes to bring out that 3D effect just using a black rectangle, give it a transparent gradient and align it so that the notes from the top of the base and the bottom match. And I put it inside as a clip I say multiply and give it just 50% and then duplicate this and then it's a matter of repeating things. I did speed it up a little bit not to bore you and there we have it a 3D effect on the lettering. It took a little bit of tweaking and adjusting and yes you can choose different colors it is a little tricky to choose the right colors on the go. I hope you enjoyed it. Nevertheless, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel or leave a comment below if there are any questions and I'll see you again soon.